Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching How to Get Away with Murder Season 2 Episode 8. This is called Hi, I'm Philip. Now at the end of the last episode, Oliver, um, as far as I know, is in some kind of danger of a possible serial killer. So I'm very worried and uh, I've been anxious to uh, see this to see if Oliver is going to be okay. Are they going to get to him in time? Um, is he not a serial killer? Just some weirdo? Um, I don't know. But uh, if you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions, or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links are down below. Let's get into this episode. What's wrong with you? Me? How are you both okay with this? This was your idea? There is no decision here. It was already made, and you agreed, so either get on board or you're the next dead body out there. Give it to me. Is everything okay? Why wouldn't it be? You just said how much he didn't care about her. Would he come over here to get sex from her after that? If he has sex with her, then I do not believe his grief from the previous episode. I, st I mean, I don't believe it right now, but I'll definitely not believe it. I'm sorry we catfished you. It's just because I think you're really cute. And we really wanted to meet you. We meeting me and my boyfriend, Connor, and now I told you his real name. That's fine, because uh, we like you. And we've really been actually looking to have a, a threesome. And just please... He knows who you are. Me. Please. No. I don't want to kill you. You know more about me than most people. That's sad. Because I don't know you. I don't know what that means. It means you play people. Doesn't everyone? Are you better at it than the rest of us? Well, I don't know if that's true. You think anyone else will get away with everything you've done to me? Maybe I won't get away with it. True. So I should kill you, but instead I just come here. Why? I don't know. You know, you can always come to me, Nate. Come over here. Ah, uh, Nate. Just think it over here. You need to decide whether you want to forgive me. I said I was sorry and I meant it. But I'm not gonna spread my legs as some sort of payment. Good for her. Now will she stick with it? Oh God, please, please, please. He said he didn't want to kill him. So hopefully he, he is not doing anything to him. Oliver, Ollie, do you hear? Did he take, did he take him or are they in there somewhere? Oliver's gone. Let's film in, Mr. Walsh. He illegally hacked some guy who's a suspect on our other case, and, and he found out, and now he's kidnapped my boyfriend. You should go. No, it's okay. I can't have you involved in this. I'm already involved. He shouldn't have even been involved, but Frank forced him to come. Actually, Oliver he seemed didn't quite force happy him. He doesn't know any better. He's not like us. He doesn't do this. If anything happens to him, it's on you. Why can't we find him on our own? How? I don't know. How's it on Annalise? already wants Call it in. Annalise, wait, I'll figure a else. way out of this, like always. Officer Leahy, I got a potential missing person situation. Hey, guys. Oh, there he is. Where the hell have you been? Oh, I was with Philip. Call you back. Hi, uh, I'm Philip. I have a security alert for hackers. Sometimes gamers try to steal my conquest points because I have so many. I only did that after I saw you guys hacked me. And Oliver told me why. You think I'm related to those rich people, right? My birth parents are Jim and Joan Meyerfield. They live in Iowa. I haven't met them, but the adoption agency gave me their names a few years ago, and you're wrong about me. It's my fault. All of it. Then if you need to blame someone, just blame me. I already do blame you. <laughs> what you did was illegal, especially since you're a lawyer, so I have to go to the cops, or at least find someone to sue you. What do you want? Tell me, and we'll see what we can do. I don't know yet. He was sitting right there. If we find a strand of hair, we can test it for his DNA, see if he's lying about his birth parents. Won't this work instead? He drank like four Cokes at the Soup Palace. I love freaking Oliver. He's so smart. We're testing Philip's DNA against a sample we found at the crime scene, and if it matches, Sinclair will drop the charges against you. You don't know that. We do. We'll be able to prove that Philip had motive and means. If the DNA matches, until then, all we know is that you screwed up again. She wants to offer Catherine and Caleb a plea deal. The only reason she'd do that is if she years, feels like she's gonna each. lose, right? Why this deal now? Honestly, resources are a little scarce around here lately. Which makes it easier for us to beat you in trial. Or I'll be gunning for life sentences. 
The offer expires after 5 p.m. today. Then why tell Catherine to take the deal? Because that's what I should have done. So if I just told the truth, done whatever time I deserved, we could have all moved on by now. You protected Rebecca, and now I'm protecting you. No one deserves to go to jail for that, you hear me? Go home. What? You're letting your feelings cloud your judgment. You're off the case until I say otherwise. Some ADA just dumped like 300 samples on me this morning. So sneak us in with those. Wait, what ADA? Sinclair. Was it Emily Sinclair? Yeah, why? There's she a know? in the house. Sinclair's been tapping her asses and not in a good way. Why do you think that? Because it's what she wanted all along. That's why she needed me to testify so she could put a wiretap on the house. How did she testify? get it? Exactly. So she Trojan horsed it in with a new discovery. That's why she suddenly offered Catherine and Caleb the plea deal and knew to solve the DNA sample. Caleb, he took the plea deal. It's a terrible deal. You took 30 years. So Catherine would get none. Selfish idiot. She's right. You are selfish and an idiot. But until we go in front of the judge, it's still just an offer. So you're going to call her back and tell her you changed your mind. No. I made my decision, and as my lawyer, you have to carry it out. What the hell? And nobody thought to call me? It wasn't a party. It's the pen. <laughs> Isn't that illegal? Couldn't they get Sinclair on that shit? I'm advising Caleb to take the plea deal. But why? Yeah, I'm about because to say that's not to house. So, so very good no acting. Plus we've been Caleb showed me where he was hiding the gun. It's in a toolbox in the basement. We have a warrant to search the premises. Check it again. We turned over the whole thing. No gun, no anything. What time is it? The offer expires after 5 p.m. today. 5.15. Oh, is he going to make it look like he... Okay, he's going to make Philip look crazy. Well, I guess... I don't know if crazy is the right word. But paranoid, whatever. Finally. I'm going to go to your boss and tell him that you've been having ex parte dealings not once, but twice with my clients, and he's going to send your hick ass back to whatever haystack you crawled out of. Ten years while her brother serves none. No way am I going to let that go through. But I want you to. What is Catherine doing? She I said know. that he was selfish for negotiating so a deal for her not to... Guilty. Serve any time, and then she just did it. Miss Hapstall, do you oh, is Frank coming through? The prosecution's plea offer. Do not answer. Miss Castillo could be me one day, but you, you can't even get me DNA results when I need them. Oh, we got the results. Ninety minutes work for fifty thousand dollars. Think about the baby. I changed my mind, Your Honor. I'm not accepting this deal. So did he lie? So is Philip really the adopted cousin? Philip Jessup's DNA is a 99.4% match to the DNA found at the crime scene, but that's not the best part. The test shows an absence of heterozygosity. What is that? He's the product of incest. And we both know that Helena only had one brother. Uh -huh. Good luck in getting the jury to believe that the inbred weirdo didn't do it. <laughs> this apartment needs to be an Annalise free zone. And she's smart. And she knows the best way to break us up. We're not gonna let that happen. Why do you think she doesn't want us to be together? Because she's Annalise. No, but I am gonna teach you a lesson. You're gonna have sex here in the classroom. Oh, did Catherine paint a picture of him? In case you actually like them. I'm sure I've just been making this all up in my head. Or you're gay and I've been misreading all the cues, but I just- <laughs> She's she gonna to think everybody that she likes like is gay. But you're not making it up. I wanted to do this since the first time I saw you. What I happened? know it's Nate again. Nothing. It's good news, actually. Sinclair called the chief about Philip. They're starting their investigation into him first thing in the morning. Why are you doing this? Helping me. It's not about helping you. It's about Sinclair. She's made my life hell, too. Is that the only reason? That's true. Oh, he wants to screw you again. I'm sorry, I don't care if my sister's asleep. I would not be having sex with somebody where she could just walk in. Is he in his room? Okay, I guess. I thought they were in the living room still. <laughs> you nervous again? I just don't understand. 
just seeing all these hookups and stuff and then seeing what's going to happen in the future I just I don't know it's like one big orgy right now you're scaring me I know but you'll see why do you suspect his sister right there it's one of Catherine's paintings oh I found it here last week what if she killed them hi Hey, don't worry. I'm gonna take care of this. Okay, guys, so that was the end of episode 8 of season 2, and, well, that just made me want to watch the next episode and see this uh, winter finale and see what exactly is re revealed. Like, um, uh, how Sinclair died or, um, who shot Annalise. Um, right now it's looking like Bonnie. Um, might be the person who shot her, but maybe she's already shot at that point. Um, because she's nowhere to be seen, um, when they're all talking, so it seems like maybe she's already out of commission. Uh, so I don't know, but, uh, yeah, so Catherine looks like she's, um, is guilty of having her adoptive parents murdered. She seems to have be um, teamed up with Philip, and Philip's blood is a match for the um, at the crime scene. Now, did they do it together, or did she get his blood somehow and put it at the scene? I don't know, but you know, I think they're in it together because he said that he's going to fix it. So, I mean, they've got to be in something together. You know, they got the gun they found. I hope Michaela's going to take it to Annalise. I hope uh, Caleb lets her. Just, I don't, I don't know. Just, I don't know. I'm so confused still. Um, Bonnie pretty much was MIA this episode. We saw her at the beginning sitting in a shower. So I'm kind of wondering about that. I mean, this was three days ago. Um, so whatever happens in the next three days leads up to Annalise being shot. Um, they didn't end this one in a flash forward, though. Um, unlike the other ones, they usually end in the flash forward. This one didn't do that. Uh, so we had an orgy, pretty much. Um, it felt like one. When it was just going from one sex scene to another. Um, so everybody was pretty much hooking up. And I don't know how I feel about Annalise and Nate. Uh, he's got me all confused. Just seeing stuff in the flash forward is just makes me think that he's still playing Annalise. I know he helped her with the Philip thing. But why leave her to die? If he cares about her and he seems to be in on this big old plan, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Are they trying to, like, I still think that they tried to from Catherine. Now, are they trying to, like, did they find out she's guilty and because they already got them off um, for the murder uh, and they can't try her for that again? Are they trying to frame her for Annalise's murder or attempted murder? Is Annalise in on this plan? Just, I don't... I wouldn't think she would be. I just, I don't know. I say that a lot in this show, that I don't know, because I don't. Um, But yeah, so... I mean, there wasn't really too much of anything else um going on it was just uh fighting sinclair um which i love that they got one over on her um she still almost won though with catherine taking the deal but i just don't know why catherine would take a deal unless she's just scared that whatever her and philip have planned isn't going to work um she seemed okay 
with not taking the deal when she saw that the blood matched Philip. So is she trying to set him up to take the fall? I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities and I just don't know which one to go with. So I really wish I could watch the winter finale right now, but I just, I can't. I have to watch, I have to record a different show. So, um, but anyway, I really love this episode. This was a, a really good episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you guys have any suggestions, anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.